Hi everybody, and welcome to an all new episode of Brandon the Magician. <laughs> Brandon Magician. This is the first episode of the brand new season three. First episode of the brand new season three. We're so good. We're going to be happy. We're going to have fun. Oh man, it's going to be awesome. I did a lot over the break, over the season, after season two, I did a lot over that break, and I had fun. I hope you have fun with me. Come on, let's do the first trick of season three. Let's go. For this trick, I don't know if you can see me real good. If you can't, well, that's okay. You can't hear me? Not my problem either. Come on, I only have 10 minutes to do this. What I'm going to do, it's a long trick, so I got to do this fast. I'm going to go through and find six cards that, you know, really have a lot of importance to me. And that will really help out with... Trick. Okay, six cards right here. Six cards. That's the cards we can just get rid of. We don't need them. I'm going to lay out all the six cards in order from one to ten. Shuffle them up. Get to label them. In order from um, one. Ah! Yeah, I have a new uh, medical condition. It's called schizophrenia. That's right. I have schizophrenia, and so sometimes you may see me uh, do weird stuff. Hey, you see me do weird stuff all the time, so it's not that funny. <laughs> Alright, six cards. This card, we will give the number one. Number one. This one, card number two. This card number three. This card number four. This card number five. And this is card number six. That'll all be explained later. But now, what I want you to do is I want you to think of a number between 1 and 10. Think of that number. And I want you to multiply that number by 2. So, for example, if you think of 5, it would be 10. 6, 12, and not that easy. Now, if you th now I want you to add 8 to that number. So, like, if you had 10, you would add 8. 18! Not that hard yet. Yet. Now I want you to take your new new number and divide that by 2. Divide it by 2. And finally I want you to take your new 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 number and subtract the original number you were thinking of. For example, if your new number is 16 and you're thinking of 5, well, then you'd have 11. And that's. Now, for your final number, remember your final number. If your number was 1, you would have this card. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, I'm going to show you all the cards. And when your card comes up, you have to remember it really hard. Because it's going to come, this card could come in, in importance to you. Okay, here's the first one. Ready? Here's the second one. Here's the third one. Here's the fourth one. If you had five, that's your card. If you had six, that's your card. 
So now I have, I randomly, I just chose six cards from the, the deck, and you could have ended up with any number. So really, you could have, I have a 1 in 52 shot at getting your card right. Well, I'm going to make this even harder on my part. I'm going to erase these numbers. Erase the numbers. And I'm going to mix up the cards. And lay them all out. So now even you at home have no idea what card yours is. And I have no idea what card yours is. But somehow, just by looking at them, I will be able to figure it out. For example, I think... That this is not your card. Is that correct? Is that not your card? You see it? That is not your card. I'm going to do it differently now. I'm not going to show you the card, but for an example. Okay. Now I'm saying that this is not your card. I'm going to show you after, like after we get all the X's and check marks. Now I'm going to say, this is not your card. This is not your card also. Even it's down with two cards. I'm going to say, this is not your card, leaving you with this being your card that you randomly chose. Let's see if I'm right. I already picked the two hearts. That's not your card. Let's see if... Uh, come, come over here. Okay, let's see if this is not your card. If it's not your card, you'll know. No! Good. So far, so good. Two down, three to go. Is this not your card? No! There we go. So far, so good. I made three right. Hopefully, I make three more. That's not your card either. And finally, the moment of faith. That is not your card either. Which means the only last card remaining. What is it saying aloud? Six of spades. Let's see if it's right. Six of spades right there. Woo! Thank you, everybody, for the wonderful magic of the cards. Thank you. You go now. No. If you guys feel like you want me to do something more extravagant and more extreme, well, watch this. A month ago is when, about a month ago, I was thinking about tricks I can do for Season 3. Can you see me? Let me come up closer. About a month ago, I was thinking of tricks I could do for Season 3, right? And I was thinking, like, I don't know if this trick will get a lot of views. I don't think it will. So I decided, hmm, what if I make an ultimate prediction in the end? And I said, hey, I made it, I took a picture of myself on May 30th. Take a look on my DSi. I took a picture of myself on May 30th. You can even check the date if you want. May 30th, right there. Let's see what card I'm holding. Six of spades with the May 30th, right there. Six of spades. You got... So then I was doing some thinking, even more, a month ago. And I said, they still might not find this, you know, interesting. And so, get back to the menu here. And so, cool. I recorded a sound edit. See what it says. Play. You will pick the six of spades on the 23rd episode of Brandon the Magician. Thank you, everybody. Woo! If you like that trick and want to see more, go to YouTube, type in Brandon Magician, whatever episode you want, like 10, 11. For more episodes, you got to play the waiting game. Everyone at home, 
at you. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.